Hi, my name is Jen Heim and I'm a second grade teacher at Mechanicsville Elementary. Today I'm going to show you how students in second grade are using an open number line when subtracting three digit numbers. Let's take a look at our problem. At the carnival, 305 people were standing in line waiting to get onto the comet. For the first ride, 132 people were allowed on the coaster. How many people are still in line? So let's go back and take a look at my problem. It says that 305 people were standing in line waiting to get on. That tells me that's the total number of people that we're starting with. Then on the first ride, 132 people were able to get on. So that means some people got on the roller coaster, but there's still some left waiting in line. So that tells me that I can subtract 305 and 132 to find how many people are still waiting to get onto the roller coaster. So I'm going to write my equation 305 minus 132. Now I'm going to show you the open number line in order to solve these, this equation. I'm going to start by just drawing a number line. It's an open number line because there are no numbers yet. Students get to decide what numbers to put on the number line. We're going to start with 305 and we're actually going to start on this side of the number line because we're going to be subtracting and hopping backwards. So I'm going to label this with 305. Now this is the number that we're subtracting but we want to decompose or break it down into our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. So I'm going to break apart 132 into 100. There's three tens, so that makes it 30, and two ones, so that's two. So now I can start to subtract. Here's 305. The first thing I'm going to do is going to hop back 100. So you're going to jump back. We're going to label it minus 100, and then that means we would land on 205. Now, we're going to hop back our three tens. Minus 10, which gives us 195. Another 10, which gives us 185. And then another 10, which gives us 175. So then, I need to subtract my two ones. Hop back, minus 1 gives you 174, and then one more, which is 173. So, the answer is 173. That means 173 is how many people are still waiting to get onto the roller coaster. Now, some students may take the same problem, but do it differently because their knowledge of numbers is a little bit more flexible. They may group these tens all together instead of individually hopping each ten backwards. And I'm going to show you how that would look. So again, we're going to draw our open number line. But this time, I'm going to still start at 305 and do the same thing where I'm hopping backwards 132. So I'm going to hop back, minus 100 gives us 205. But again, depending on your student's knowledge, the three tens could be grouped together into one hop. And they could hop back, minus 30, to make sure they label it, minus 30. And then we get 175. So all we have left is the two ones. And that could also be grouped to minus 2, which gives us 173. Still the same answer as before, but we've grouped our tens and our ones. There's also another way that students might use the open number line to subtract, and it's a little different than these two. It's actually counting up in order to subtract. So let's take a look at another open number line. Now this problem is different because we're actually going to start on this side of the number line and we're going to start with the 132. And we're going to keep counting up until we get to 305. So I'm going to put on this side 300, 
five. Now I'm going to start with my hundreds. I'm going to jump one hundred. This time I'm adding a hundred, so I want to put plus one hundred. So that's going to give us two hundred thirty two. Now I'm going to add some tens. And again, I'm going to group some tens kind of like I did here, but this time I'm going to jump and I'm going to add 60 because that's going to get me to 292. Then here I'm going to need to change into my hundreds place. So I need to jump another 10 to get to 302 making sure that I'm still not going over 305. So now I'm at 302 and I need to get to 305. So I'm going to jump. I'm going to do one big jump here and I'm going to add three. So now the answer here is actually how many jumps it took us. And we need to add all of this together, which we have 100 plus 60 plus 10, which gives us 170 and three, the same answer that we got before. And that's how students are using open number line in order to solve three digit subtraction equations.